Between 2005 and 2019, aviation traffic in the European Union grew 67%, causing its emissions to grow at a time when they need to be falling. And non-CO2 effects often have an even greater warming impact. This must stop. Planes are increasingly efficient, but can't keep up with the growth in demand. Clean fuels and aircraft are becoming reality, but they are not yet scalable to address aviation's mammoth climate problem. We have to act now. Sustainable aviation is possible. To succeed, we need a collective effort by regulators, the aviation industry, companies and all of us. To start with, the pandemic saw the number of flights fall dramatically and we learned about how we could live and work in better ways. Continuing to fly less will prevent the problem from getting worse. Frequent flyers, less than 1% of the world's population, account for more than 50% of aviation emissions. Long-haul corporate travel is one of the biggest drivers of aviation demand. If we reduce this by 50%, it would cut emissions by 32.6 megatons of CO2 by 2030 in Europe, which is the same as taking 16 million polluting cars off the road. Smarter flying is something we can all do. We reduce frequent flying, substitute long-haul corporate flights for virtual collaboration, and shift from regional air travel to high-speed rail. To curb the growth of flights and emissions, we need to put airport expansion plans on hold across Europe. And airlines should no longer be allowed a tax exemption on fossil jet fuel. For non-CO2 emissions, an easy place to start is to mandate clean of fossil jet fuel with fewer contrail-forming particles. We can also reroute flights to avoid atmospheric conditions that create climate heating contrails. These are changes that can be made now with immediate benefits. Looking to the future, sustainable aviation fuels such as e-kerosene, produced from green hydrogen and with CO2 captured from ambient air, offer a promising path. New aircraft technologies also offer hope for green aviation. Electric or hydrogen aircraft can help reduce emissions. To unlock the potential for these aircraft, we should require the aviation industry to sell and operate zero emission jets. With a joint effort, there is a credible path to reduce aviation emissions before 2030 and eliminate its climate impact by 2050. Read our roadmap to find out more.